asset means any resource which have a, an economic value, right? Which has an economic value at least. Any asset, any any resource that we have. Maybe it could be anything, right? Let's say there is an employee who is who is having very good knowledge, and he knows in and out of the company or a, or any organization. So that organization is going to call it going to consider that employee as a company's asset. That it's one of the company's asset because that resource or that employee has the value for the company. Right, that is going to that is adding some value to the company. In the similar way, if you have a car, right, that is an asset for you because that has an economic value. But there are two type of assets, right? One is tangible, and other is intangible, right? Now, what is tangible? any any asset physical any asset that has a physical shape your building car right your car any your building your land anything that has a physical shape that is called like cash money you can see right cash in hand everything that has a physical shape that is a tangible asset that is your tangible asset intangible asset which we cannot see with our eyes which cannot be seen with an eyes like maybe uh, you know you know many people right many people who can lend you money so you will always feel that i have a so i have a good will that i i go to market i i i can purchase anything without you know with just my name, I have a very good company, and in that, in the name of that company, anyone is going to lend you money, anyone is going to give you money. That kind of, that is an intangible asset, right? Recognition, or we can say recognitions. I have a kind of company has this organization or person, right? Has a kind of recognition that anyone recognize him and because they recognize him so they are good too they they have a very they have a goodwill and and uh, you know on the basis of that anyone is going to give them or they, they feel that that goodwill or that my recognition is my asset right that is intangible asset right for now when it comes to the assets there are two types Assets has two types. One is liquid, and sec second is non-liquid. Okay, non-liquid. What are liquid assets? Again, like any anything that is readily available, ready and available. Like your money in your bank account, cash in your hand, right? Those are the best examples. You can go your your debit card, your account, you know, cash in your account, account balance, or any cash that is already available with you. That is called liquid funds. Any funds that is not readily available for us like which need to be converted which could be converted later but that is going to take time like your automobile right your car bike or property are the best example of your non liquids next is bank accounts because cash at hand is also liquid funds but we are in our transaction we are not go we never we never consider any unaccounted money we never consider any cash so we always will be considering money only from the bank accounts when i say bank accounts what are the different bank accounts like what are the different bank accounts number 1 checking account right
नंबर टू वट इज द नंबर टू सेविंग अकाउंट सेविंग अकाउंट दीज आर द डिफरेंट बैंक अकाउंट नंबर थ्री मनी मार्केट अकाउंट राइट एंड देर आर अदर अकाउंट एज ए वॉट आर अदर अकाउंट नंबर फोर इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट और बिफोर इन्वेस्टमेंट देर इज अनदर अकाउंट दैट इज कॉल्ड ब्रोकरेज अकाउंट ब्रोकरेज नंबर फाइव इज द इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट नंबर सिक्स रिटायरमेंट अकाउंट रिटायरमेंट अकाउंट ओके नाउ वट एवर द मनी अवेलेबल इन द चेकिंग अकाउंट अकाउंट बैलेंस वट एवर द बैलेंस अवेलेबल इन द चेकिंग अकाउंट सेविंग अकाउंट मनी मार्केट अकाउंट एंड ब्रोकरेज अकाउंट वट आर चेकिंग अकाउंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड चेकिंग अकाउंट आर द सिंपल अकाउंट इन विच यू नो अनलिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ फॉर फॉर देर इज नो लिमिट टू यूज दैट अकाउंट we can put we can deposit money you know and um, uh, i mean we, multiple times and there is no such restrictions which hold us to to withdraw money as many times as we wanted okay. but interest rate is very low saving account is saving account you know is is a, with the purpose of saving but it could have it could have some restrictions for the withdrawal or there sometimes we we could see that okay there are some you know uh, like only eight five times or six times we we can withdraw if we are going to withdraw more than that limit could there could be some charges for the for for using more than the limit uh, for this account like uh, if there there could be like if anyone want to withdraw money from the atm they can only withdraw five times or 10 times right it saving accounts slightly have more higher interest rate than the checking account now the third is money market account money market account is purely and purely to save money or to you know to, to earn interest rate right so it has the interest rate more than saving and checking account but yes there are you know there are strict restrictions for withdrawal you know number of withdrawal like we cannot withdraw money no five or six times there could be like two in a month we can only withdraw two twice or there could be a possibility that there is going to be a, most of the time in the money market account there is going to be a minimum balance that always need to be maintained in these such, such accounts right those are the accounts okay now brokerage account what is brokerage account brokerage account are the accounts like you know where we can transfer money to the brokerage account and from the brokerage account we can invest in any in any shares any you know wherever we want to invest money we can invest so if i i have i have um, you know uh, purchased 10 shares right if i have 10 units or 10 shares of any from the market i can directly purchase the shares from this account right and i can move money from my checking or saving or money market to this brokerage account and then i can do the purchase from the market i can purchase shares mutual funds whatever i wanted to purchase i can purchase there right and when i can also sell if i have to sell i can also sell that from this brokerage account money once i sell the money will get into this brokerage account but i cannot withdraw money directly from there i need to transfer that money those funds to any of the account and from here i can i can withdraw the money right so that is the brokerage account clear to everyone yes sir okay. okay now the next is investment funds and retirement account investment accounts and retirement account these are the accounts right sometimes 401k that is 401k account is also retirement account investment account both account have the restrictions to restriction to and there is one more that is called cod okay 
you can say COD is kind of certificate of deposit. Certificate of deposit. Okay. Now investment account. Investment account, as we know, invest mostly these account investment or retirement accounts are, you know, mostly they 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 are the logged account. Most of the time they will be logged. We cannot go any time and withdraw money. Like in investment, if we have invested money somewhere, then we have to sell or we have to liquidate, we have to go to bank or we need to phone them and we need to call them and then we need to tell them that we want to liquidate this money because it is not in the form of money, but it is in the form of market shares, in the form of market units, mutual funds, right? All those accounts, it will have like money deposited by money deposited or Sometimes you will see vested funds, right? Vested funds means the money that has been deposited by our borrower. The, the, our uh, borrower might have deposited $5,000, but there is a possibility in the current date, this 5,000 market value is $8,000 in the market, right? But remember the there is a possibility it could be this money has been they have invested the money but this there could be some some locking period or maybe it, it it is always going to be a lock we cannot go anytime and withdraw money have to you know that uh, we have to request the bank if we want to close them then before closing or before withdrawing money we need to check whether we have that uh, is there any possibility that we can get money from this because what happens most of the time these funds are these funds or these uh, accounts are logged for a certain period there could be a possibility when someone took the retirement account right or in, they invested the in, they, they started the investment there is a possibility that the first three years there could be a lock-in period that once started, then first three years, no one can withdraw any money from that. It could be in both, right? So that also always, whenever somebody want to use these funds in the current transactions, we always need to see terms and conditions. Whenever we have retirement accounts, we always need to see terms and conditions. Okay. To check out, is there any lock-in period? Is there any term? Is there any condition that that is holding us you know from using this account like there could be a condition that retirement account could only be liquidated or money could be withdrawn from this retirement account only at the time of retirement or if borrower leaves the job if that kind of condition is has has been added to this retirement account we cannot use this account we cannot use funds from this account we will say no you to borrow that okay this account this these funds appearing in the retirement funds could not be used or investment funds there, the same could be like investment access like maybe there could be that it has been logged for three years and or maybe it is logged for five years after five years this is going it will be liquidated or it will get mature then we can use that right that it is going to be matured only on after five years right that is the so we always need to ask we always need to see terms and condition and if terms and conditions are missing then we always need to ask for the terms and condition is that clear yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. The next thing if we have terms and condition or we asked for the terms and condition and then we received the terms and condition the next step we are going to do that we need to see the proof of liquidation proof of liquidation right Proof of liquidation means proof of liquidation means before closing, right? Before closing, borrower need to provide us proof that okay, we we have we have gone through terms and condition and we found that yes, these are good. We can withdraw borrower can withdraw money from retirement or investment. We are there is no lock-in period. There is no such condition which which um, hold borrower from withdrawing any money from the retirement account so we are good okay we can ask now that okay loan is approved but before closing borrower need to provide us an evidence that 
this account, whatever the account borrower wanted to liquidate, that account has been liquidated, means they have withdrawn money from that account and has been deposited to their normal account, to their to their saving or checking account, right? That proof we always need to see. Then only we will be sending file for the file for the closing. Remember, if it is a conventional loan, if it is a conventional loan, okay. If it is a conventional loan, then we can take seventy percent of the vested funds of retirement or saving account. No, sorry, retirement or investment account. And if it is in a government loan, if it is in a government loan, we can consider 60% of the vested funds. Good? Clear? 70% in conventional, government loan is 60%. Okay, very nice. That is what the about the retirement and investment account. Now, next number seven account. Seven account number seven is going to be CO. CO means certificate of deposit. Like in 